This is Revivalist Michelle Morrison. Welcome to the broadcast, Global Awakening. Welcome, welcome, folks. Every Monday, we have a team of pastors, leaders, apostles, intercessors who are praying for the U.S. and the nations. The U.S. and the nations are in trouble, folks. We are in trouble. God is not pleased. So many crises that have hit the land. The coronavirus is the biggest one. Over 500,000 have died in the United States. And I know they're saying we have this vaccine, but my goodness, there's so much that is going on in the U.S. and the nations. Riots, civil strife. There were forest fires, may still be forest fires in California, and everything has been happening all at once. Folks, the kingdoms of this world are in trouble, and only God's kingdom can bring help to this dying world. My goodness, how many know that the kingdom of heaven is not in trouble? And when we are in trouble, we have to look to the kingdom of heaven. My goodness, my goodness, Jesus Christ is real, folks. If you are watching this broadcast today and you do not know him as Lord and Savior, I'm appealing to you to give your life to Jesus Christ. We're not guaranteed today or tomorrow. So many people have called me for prayer in this time of crises. Uh, 50 families, I'm in New York City, 50 families called with people who were dying when the virus was so strong in New York. And I'm telling you, God uses me in the gift of healing and I give him all the glory, honor, praise. And 49 out of that 50 families saw breakthrough. Praise God. One young man, praise God. They had written him off. He was in the hospital for six weeks on dialysis and Jesus Christ healed, delivered, set him free. I was praying with the family and I saw a vision of him walking out and folks, days later, he walked out all glory and honor and praise to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a healer. He is the answer. God is calling us back to himself. See, the United States is a Christian country, even though many atheists try to strip our culture of its Christian heritage. And we see that there's so many things. Abortion, New York is the abortion capital. We see there's so many things that are in violation of God's statutes. Folks, abortion is murder, and we feel bad for those who've been raped and different things, but but folks, God does establish statutes that we as Christians know and understand that we have to obey. And none is perfect. I'm not here preaching down to you. The apostle Paul said in the Bible of sinners, he was the chief. So he really means that none of us are perfect. None of us are righteous. Just daily, we have to submit our lives to Jesus Christ. And you may think that the partying and the drinking and the weed smoking is the way to happiness. But folks, I used to be a drunk <laughs> for so many years, for decades, until Jesus got a hold of me. Praise God. The drinking, the partying, the weed smoking, it's not the way to happiness because you end up the next day <laughs> just empty, still empty. The only person that can give you eternal life is Jesus Christ. The only person that can give you true happiness is Jesus Christ. So folks, I'm appealing to you today. You know, before uh, the terrorists bombed the World Trade Center, I was down in the Wall Street area preaching and folks were telling me, lady, we don't have a soul. <laughs> After that calamity happened, folks were crying and asking me, why would God allow this? And folks, I don't have all the answer. All I know is God is real. And when you die, there's a heaven and there is a hell. And we need to choose Jesus Christ today. And it's not to say that you're going to live a perfect life just starting up, but daily we die to sin because none's perfect. 
but as we draw closer to Jesus Christ, he is able to keep us, transform us into his image. My goodness, my goodness, folks, there's darkness in this land. I am here to sound an alarm, to blow a trumpet in Zion. It's time for us to make a change. Women, if you're shacking up, fornicating, I'm appealing you to you today. The Bible says it's better to marry than to burn because that is a sin. Praise God. And I can't come to preach down to you. I lived with a man for six years when I was in the world. So I'm not preaching down to you. I'm just saying, if he gets the milk for free, he's not going to buy the cow. Amen. So it's time for us to decide to make a change, to choose Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Folks, these are dark times that we're living in. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, is coming soon. And he is preparing his bride. Folks, the lie that the enemy wants you to believe is that hell isn't real and that you can continue in sin so grace abounds. But my Bible tells us what shall we continue in sin because Jesus is so merciful and graceful. God forbid. John 3, 16 tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. My goodness, that God would love us so much that he would send his son to die so you and I would have eternal life. And eternal life just means you live through eternity with Jesus Christ. Heaven is real. Hell is real, folks. I'm here today to appeal to you. Choose Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you today. And we have a group of pastors. We have a group of leaders. We're praying every Monday. I have 138 leaders who are praying in different countries and different states in the United States. Every Monday, we are fasting. We are turning aside our plates. We are crying out to God to uh, forgive the land, heal the land, heal the United States and the nations. Folks, we are in crisis. And if you want to join this prayer and fasting movement, you can contact our ministry, our Facebook page, WKDMI. God is raising up an army to pray. And today I'm going to pray. Today I'm going to believe God with you. Today we're going to see that Jesus Christ is God, that he is Lord. And there's nothing the enemy can bring your way that Jesus cannot overcome. There's nothing. Corona, whether it's unemployment, whether it's sickness, folks. I've gone to India and I've seen blind eyes open in my ministry. I've seen deaf ears open. Jesus Christ is able. Just last week, a lady called me. Her sister was in ICU, about to die, had been blind in both eyes. And I tell you, I prayed with that lady on phone. I prayed with that lady by phone. And just this week, she tells me her sister's out of critical condition. Her eyes are open. We give all glory and praise and honor to God. So if you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Joel, Joel 2. I want you to turn there. This is a book in the Bible that gives us the blueprint for a time of crises. Joel 2. Praise God. And in this book of the Bible, it says in verse one, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Let's go to, let's go to verse 12. It says, therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God for his gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord. Your God, verse 15, blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those who suck the breast. My goodness, we see here in the book of Joel, it's a time of darkness in the earth and God gives us the blueprint. He says to come together corporately, not individually, but corporately, folks. We have 138 leaders. We have so 
many states represented who are praying with us. We have other countries that are praying with us every Monday. Will you join this fast and praying movement? Will you cry out to God with us? I'll be on this television broadcast every Monday, 1.30 p.m. We are on the radio also every Monday, 6 to 7 p.m. Kingdom Purpose TV. You don't want to miss these broadcasts. Jesus Christ is calling for revival. And not just revival, God is doing a global awakening during this time. And there's a difference, folks. Revival just means he's calling the church and the world back to himself. My goodness. But awakening means that God is doing a reformation of the culture. And how is he reforming the culture? There are seven mountains, seven areas in our culture that God is taking back for himself. And these seven areas are religion, business, education, arts and entertainment entertainment, media, government, and family. If you find yourself called to one of these areas, know that God is going to raise you up in this end time. And the reason those who control these areas of the culture control and impact the culture the most. So if God can impact media, arts, and entertainment, then he can reclaim the culture for himself. So we are praying for global awakening. We are fasting every month. We are fasting every Monday through 7 p.m. or you can fast through 2 p.m. And folks, if you have health issues, please consult with your doctor before fasting. We're fasting water through 7 p.m. We're praying at 1.30 p.m. every Monday and we're praying from 6 to 7 p.m. every Monday. If you are led to join us, please inbox me on our Facebook public page, WKDMI, or you can go to WKDMI.org and hit our contact page and fill out the contact form and one of our prayer counselors will be in touch with with you folks. We need you. Jesus Christ needs you. I'm going to tell you the states now that are praying with us to date. We have 138 leaders, 28 states, and 16 countries partnering in prayer. Okay, and these are the states in the U.S., Virginia, New Jersey, Texas, Georgia, Louisiana, New York, Missouri, Nevada, Florida, Michigan, uh, North Carolina, North Carolina, South Carolina, Ohio, Massachusetts, Alabama, California, Oklahoma, Delaware, Connecticut, Missouri, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Indiana, the U.S. Virgin Islands, New Mexico, Maryland, Illinois, Indiana. The countries that are praying with us are the U.S., Canada, Bahamas, London, Kenya, India, Liberia, Nigeria, Uganda, Pakistan, Ghana, Zambia, South Africa, Sudan, Turkey, and Madagascar. Folks, we mean business in this fast and praying movement. The enemy has to release the souls. This is the end time and God is claiming souls. We are believing God for millions of souls. We're believing God for revival and awakening in the land, my goodness. So we see the book of Joel, it's a call to corporate fasting, corporate praying. My goodness, if you want to join this fast and prayer movement, folks, inbox me at our public Facebook page, WKDMI. This is Pastor Apostle Revivalist Michelle Morrison. Praise God. I've been praying over the U.S. and the nation's folks for decades. It's just in this time, the land is in trouble. The U.S. is in trouble. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Folks, it doesn't matter what we have have in this world material things. I'm an attorney at law. God has blessed me tremendously, but we can't take any of it with us. The Bible says we can't die with it. You have to understand that you have a soul, that there's a heaven and a hell, and it's time for us to give our lives to Jesus Christ. My goodness, my goodness, you need to understand that Jesus is able to protect you from the coronavirus. You need to get out Psalm 91 and read it over your household. They that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God protects his people. God delivers his people, folks. The Bible 
Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver us out of them all. Satan has nothing over God. God made the devil. Don't fear the enemy. We need to get on our face in prayer, fasting. I'm a preacher who lives a life of consecration, a life of fasting. Folks, I've given up my entire life for Jesus Christ. I've given it up because it means nothing. Hallelujah. I live to pray with people. I live to impact the world for Jesus Christ. I feel the anointing of God in this place. The Lord says in Joel to blow the trumpet in Zion. Folks, we serve a merciful God. He doesn't wish that any shall perish. So I have to ask you today to choose Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He loves you. He died so you can have eternal life, so you can live in eternity with him. And he's saying, bring the preachers, bring the lay people, even bring the children. It means he wants everyone to come and to cry out to him for mercy, for America. And none of us ever achieves perfection. It's not about works, folks. It's about faith in Jesus Christ. Will you give him a chance today? Will you accept Jesus Christ today as your Lord and Savior? My goodness, I'm going to give an altar call at the end of this broadcast. But right now, I want to pray. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with your family. I want to pray for your state. I want to pray for the United States. This I is want Apostle to pray. Michelle Morrison. The Global Awakening Apostolic Alliance is an international prayer and fasting movement to bring repentance and revival to the U.S. and nations and to reclaim the seven mountains of influence in our culture for Jesus. Religion, media, arts and entertainment, education, government and business. The church must realize that when we lose our influence, we lose our culture. Bring revival and awakening to our nations, oh God. Share our scripture, July notes. Verse 12 says, Therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. You, oh God, have mercy upon the United States, have mercy upon New York City, Missouri, the nation. Verse 14, who knoweth? If he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, we continue to repent for the sins of the man. Today we find COVID-19. We put it in chains. Shemakash. Today we break every curse of death assigned to take out the nation. and deliverance abroad in the nation. And, and, we we and, say, and Lord, revive us again. Lord, revive us, global awakening. To date, we have 113 leaders, 27 states, and 16 countries partnering in prayer. If you would like to join the fast and prayer movement, visit wkdmi.org and click the contact page and like our Facebook page, GAAA Global Awakening Apostolic Alliance. As we approach your throne of grace, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the blood of the Lamb. We thank you for the blood of the Lamb that covers the United States, that covers the nations. Father, we repent for the sins of the United States. We repent for abortion. We repent for the ways we've come against you, the ways we strayed, the ways atheists are trying to strip and God we trust out of our culture oh God we're coming today knowing none of us are righteous but father we're bowing before you today Jesus and we're asking for your grace goodness and mercy to be outpoured over the United States and the nations over the 50 states oh God have mercy on the church have mercy on the United States have mercy on the nation save heal the land father we are coming together today in fasting and praying every Monday seeking your face asking Shema for your goodness and grace to be outpoured on the land. Oh God, save, heal, deliver the United States and the nation. Save, heal, deliver these different states that I called out previously, Lord. You know them name by name. The different countries I called out, Father, you know them name by name, Father. And we're also interceding for the states that are not on this list. And Lord, everyone within the sound of my voice, I cover every family, every mother, father, child in the blood of Jesus Christ. I cancel the 
coronavirus. I cancel the death angel over their lives. I cancel sickness, disease, poverty, lack, mammoth, death, destruction. Only you, Lord, can restore and revive this economy. So right now, I bind the coronavirus from over every family member. I call people off the ICU right now. In Jesus' name, we cancel. I cancel and break the curse of corona over every family member. In Jesus' name, we're believing God. That folks are going to walk out of ICU. That folks are taking off the ventilators now through the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, all principalities. He made an open show of death, hell, and Haiti. So therefore, death has no dominion over you today. Cancer has no dominion. Lord, we call for cancer to dry up. We call for tumors to dry up. We call for high blood pressure to be regulated. And each and every person listening, we call for diabetes to dry up blood sugar levels regulated. In Jesus' name, we call for everyone within the sound of my voice, healed, delivered, set free. In Jesus' name, authorities, we command you to release the people now. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father God. And for those who are without jobs in this economy with the unemployment rate sky high, Father, we're calling for jobs for those who don't have jobs today. Shema, shete. In Jesus' name, we're calling for hallelujah. Shema, businesses to be established. Shema, shete. In Jesus' name, we bind the hand of the corona. Lord, save, heal the land, deliver the land. Shema, maka, shete. In Jesus' name, raise up pastors, evangelists, leaders to go forth and preach this good news throughout the earth. In Jesus' name, we're crying out to you. Oh God, forgive this land. Forgive our sins. Forgive the sins of this land. What is man that you're mindful of us? Oh God, in Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our households, over the United States, over the nations. The blood of Jesus go forth in Jesus' name. And we release the warning angels to go forth. Warning angels go forth. Fight by the millions in the United States and the nations. Fight. Shema kashite, shema and we call forth billions of souls saved, healed, delivered, set free in Jesus' name. And the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ reigns. Jesus Christ, Shemaka, the kingdoms of this world, we decree and declare that they must become the kingdoms of our God. We call forth the mountains of business, education, arts and entertainment, media, family, Shemaka, Shete, government, Shete, Larama, Maka, Shete, education. Religion, we claim these areas for God in the United States, the nations in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. Raise up intercessors, raise up ministries to go forth and spread this gospel throughout the earth. And we bind every spirit of lethargy, every spirit of blindness in the church, every spirit of competition, everything compromised in the church. We bind it, we put it in chains and we release God's people to come together as one. Lord bless Shemaka Shete, this awakening, global awakening, apostolic alliance. Bless each and every leader and member. Lord, bring forth leaders from all 50 states in Jesus' name and the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail against your people. The blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. The blood, release God's people, release the United States. We call forth revival and global awakening in the U.S. and the nations, oh God. Arise, oh God. In Jesus' name, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Praise God. I feel the anointing of God on my life today, folks. And I release and decree apostolically a blessing over your life. I decree and declare that Corona cannot touch your household. I decree and declare that the blessings of the Lord will overtake you. Jobs will overtake you. Businesses, the abundance and blessing and fatness and goodness of the Lord will overtake you in this to receive Jesus Christ as Lord, just say out loud from where you are, Father God, I come to you a sinner. Just say it out loud. I come to you a sinner, Lord. I believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Change my life, Lord Jesus. I need you, Lord. 
And that's it. The Bible tells us the angels in heaven are rejoicing. Find a local church or you can contact our ministry. Visit our Facebook page, inbox me, WKDMI, or visit our website, WKDMI.org. Jesus loves you, and so do I. Revivalist Michelle Morrison has seen powerful revival moves of God, both in the U.S. and internationally. Thousands have been healed, saved, and delivered. Jesus opened the eyes of this blind man in an Indian revival crusade as Apostle Michelle prayed. You're seeing uh, uh, your finger. Shadow. Okay, when your Jesus. Shadow. You're seeing uh, your hand. Woo! He's Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's seeing my hand. This man, born dumb, spoke for the first time as Jesus touched him while Apostle prayed. Hallelujah. 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 He can hear you. He can speak. He can hear. He can speak. Hallelujah. This boy, born dumb, spoke for the first time when Jesus used apostle to pray. What up? What up? What up? He's speaking. What up? Louder. What up? What up? This lady was healed from a brain tumor in Lower Manhattan as God used apostle and revivalist Michelle Morrison. Let her go by the blood and power of the Almighty Living God. By the blood. She's being healed. That's the Holy Spirit all over her. She's not going to need this king. Total healing in every muscle, every tissue, every membrane, every part of her body. Loose her. Let her go. Sickness and disease. To you. you don't need this. That's right. That's right. Look at her whole face. It's changed. You can type into the Google search engine, Apostle Michelle Morrison, to see these incredible healing videos. Or visit WKDMI.org and click Revival Videos. Dr. Michelle Morrison has fulfilled the commission to missions noted in Matthew 25, verse 35. In the U.S., she has led several evangelical outreach endeavors in the prisons, hospitals, and shelters of New York City since 2005. Since 2009, Yes You Can Community and Economic Development Corporation, our Christian social enterprise, has helped many low-income communities by hosting economic development seminars, providing resources to low-income people, battered women, and previously incarcerated individuals. In addition, Yes You Can has fed and clothed thousands of low-income individuals in the United States. Since 2014, we extended these efforts internationally by feeding and clothing widows and orphans overseas, assisting with the education for poverty-stricken children overseas, and helped hundreds of churches in their efforts to spread the gospel. Matthew 25, verses 35 to 40. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you as a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go visit you? The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. If you are interested in making a financial contribution toward the vision of Yes You Can or World Kingdom Dominion Ministries, please visit WKDMI.org and click on the donate link on the donate page. You can also send donations to P.O. Box 981, New York, New York 10008 and make checks out to Y 